Hey guys, what's up? You're to Minecraft. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the fundamentals and basics of potions and everything you will need to know. And I broke down to the simplest form that I can do for you guys, so hopefully, you'll be able to follow it. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to come to the crafting table and uh, make three or make glass bottles. This is done by getting glass blocks and placing them in a bucket shape. This gives you three glass bottles. The next thing you need to do is you need to make a brewing stand, and this is done by three cobblestone blocks in the bottom row of a crafting table followed by a blaze rod placed in the center and this gives a brewing stand and that can be placed wherever you want so the next thing you need to do guys is you need to get your water bottles and you need to or your glass bottles and you need to fill these with water uh, from any water source you want the only downside of using the cauldron is it only does the three water bottles and it's not an infinite infinite source of water as you can see it's empty and I've just filled my three water bottles so that is the basic first part of the potions that you need to know the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is the in potion ingredients and what you need to do so as you can see I've broken up into three main sections there's primary base secondary base and defining ingredients so to make a primary base a uh, potion all you need is to do this is you need to get uh, your three bottles of water well it's more efficient if you use three bottles of water and your nether wart and this will make three uh, I can't remember the name actually uh, three awkward potions and that is like your primary potion for more or less your defining ingredients you cannot make a defining potion without uh, this awkward potion so bear that in mind for when we go further on when I get might get a bit more complicated so like I said there is nine ingredients for potions and I just got through them so nether wart makes an awkward potion uh, glowstone dust makes a thick potion redstone dust makes a mundane potion and fermented spider eye makes a potion of weakness and these three potions are your secondary base uh, ingredients these three up here and I'll talk about that in a minute uh, the next uh, five potions are your defining uh, ingredients and these need to be combined with your uh, primary base in order to create these so you have to uh, combine your awkward potion with your spider eye in order to make a potion of poison you need to do your awkward potion with a blaze powder to make your potion of strength and this lasts for three minutes the same goes for magma cream and this uh, makes a f potion of fire resistance again three minutes uh, sugar gives a potion of swiftness and gas tear gives a potion of healing so that is the basics there of creating your defining potions so again you need to use your ingredients with your spider eye blaze powder magma cream sugar and gas tear and combine it with your uh, primary base uh, potion and this will give you a uh, your potions for your defined potions basically so that is all you need to know for creating your potions the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is what happens when the effects of adding a secondary base to your defining potions so basically when you add one of these three ingredients to your uh, defined potion like your actual potion this thing here it gives like an upgrade or downgrade of that potion so just say I add glowstone to one of my defined potion I just go quickly here to so say I add glowstone to a potion of strength for three minutes it might double my strength for the three minutes so basically a uh, glowstone dust when combined with that potion uh, it upgrades like it gives a second tier just say so you might just have tier one a uh, strength and then you'll have tier two strength or it might have one it heals one heart and then it might heal two hearts uh, the same kind of applies to redstone but in it kind of extends the length it doesn't ex it upgrade it like it go, might go from three minutes maybe to six minutes it just extends the time when combined with a defined potion but the only thing is when if you make a defined potion out of glowstone and it upgrades it and then you decide to add a uh, redstone to it it kind of downgrades it first and then extends it so it basically it goes the latest portion is the one you can't have both you can't have upgraded a uh, power and upgraded length sort of thing you can only have one or the other the next a uh, secondary base portion and this is kind of like a negative effect it has a negative effect on every other portion and it's a fermented spider eye when this is combined with uh, any of these portions it gives a negative effect apart from the poison the portion of poison when it's combined with the 
fermented spider eye it gives like a portion of harm so it's like twice as deadly sort of thing uh, and then every other one it goes from like a portion of speed so it might go a portion of slow so that is it's just always negative so hopefully you'll be able to understand uh, this guide guys I, I have broken it down to the simplest method I could do free but it still is I like, will admit it is a slight bit complicated but I will be doing a more uh, in depth guide of the secondary base and defining portions because it is a bit confusing so hopefully you like this video uh, please subscribe to the channel as it does make a serious difference to me uh, like this video uh, comment on it if you want to and i shall see you for more tutorials soon